Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create interest with these isometric images and isometric shadow. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing we'll do is go File, New, Blank Presentation, we'll right click and choose Layout, Blank. We're now going to get our background image and for that we can right click, go to Format Background, Picture or Texture Fill, Insert Stock Images. And I just typed Background, then scroll down for the background I used, which is this blue. And to create our images, I just clicked on a rectangle. I made this 5 by 5 centimeters. And then I went to Fill, Picture or Texture Fill, Insert, Stock Images. I actually clicked on the New tab and scrolled down till I found an image that I liked. We'll choose this one insert. And you can just pick any images you want. To save time, I'm just going to paste in the ones I had in my example. Now let's apply the 3D rotation. So we can click all of these and apply it to all of them at the same time. And from the effects option under format picture, we can choose 3D rotation. And then from the preset box, we're going to choose this first preset, which is called isometric left down. Great. Now let's add the shadow. And for this, we want a rectangle the same size as the image. So I'll go to Size and Properties and choose 5 again. And for the rotation, we want to choose a third preset, isometric top up. Now let's go to the fill, make sure it's on gradient fill, and the line, no line. I'm just going to drag it into the rough position I want here. You can use the curse keys to make it exact. And right click and choose center back. And this is the default gradient that appears. I only need two of these stops. So you can just click on them and drag them off. I'm going to type 180 degrees rotation. I'm going to click on each of these colors and set them to black. And then on this stop on the left, one of two, I'm going to choose 100% transparency. So there we go. That's a great isometric shadow. And the reason we create a rectangle for this and rotate it is because the built-in shadow in PowerPoint won't give that effect. It will just put the shadow around the actual image. And I'll show you an example of that here. So if we go to shadow and add an outer shadow to that, you can see how it just puts it round. And you can extend the size the blur and the angle and all of those things, but it will put it all around, whereas we just want an isometric shadow. And using the gradient to transparency is a nice way of getting that fall off shadow effect. So I'm just going to drag these into roughly the position I want. I can click on the shadow. I can press Ctrl D to duplicate. I can drag it into the right place. Right click, choose centre back. And again, I can just use the cursors to line this up perfectly. Once it's lined up perfectly, I can shift and click to select both the shadow and the image and press Ctrl G and that will group them and allow me to line it up and animate it just in a minute. I'm just going to quickly add the shadow by pressing Ctrl D to the other images. Making sure each time we centre back, Shift and Ctrl G to group. Excellent. That's all my shadows added. Now let's roughly line them up and I'm going to show you a great way how you can make the isometric positioning correct. So if we go to rectangle and we click to add it here, I'm just going to make this quite long not very wide and then when I go to the size and properties and then I can go to rotation and I can type 60 degrees press enter and now this is the isometric rotation so we can just put that nearly touching that image of the cactus there and then just drag this down to the same place and we can follow this here
Now we can go to rotation and type 120 degrees. You can see we've got our other plane there. So by moving these, it doesn't have to be exact, but by moving these close to both of these angles here, the 60 degrees and the 120 degrees, we can get something that's pretty well in line. Then we'll just delete our guide and there you go. It's a really good way of aligning things to an isometric position. Now we're going to add a white line around the images and then we're going to add the animation. So we'll click once and click again to select the image We'll go to fill in line, solid line, we'll choose white, and I want it to be three point. We're just going to apply it to all of these. Great, we'll just go full screen. Looking good, now let's add the animation. And to do this, we'll go to the slide, We'll press Ctrl D to duplicate. We'll make sure that the transition is set to morph. We'll now go to the first slide. We can click on these and hold down Shift and they'll move off locked to either the X or Y position. And the further these are moved out, these will take longer to come in and create a nice staggered looking effect. So let's run that. Great, a really quick way of using images with an isometric rotation and a good looking shadow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one.